New Year's Eve 2017. It is Sunday, December 31st. Good morning, you two, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing brothers and sisters. New Year's Eve. We're ringing out 2017 and we're going to ring in 2018. Will it be the year of the rapture of the church? Gather around, pull up the chair. Let me know what are you going to share with Pastor Dave as we begin this New Year's Eve together. I've got my coffee with cream, no sugar. Are you drinking coffee this morning on New Year's Eve? What are you going to share with Pastor Dave? Let me know in the comment section below. And do you know where Coffee Street is? I can't find Coffee Street. <laughs> Hang on. Let me know in the comment section below. All right, I'm heading out to the city of Flint. I'll be in Flint and Pontiac today, and uh, I'm going to try to get Flint and Detroit tomorrow with our homeless outreach ministry. Had a wonderful time last night on our live stream, our YouTube uh, live stream, and I was talking about scripture from the book of John, John and Matthew, where it talks about, in my father's house are many mansions, talking about the rapture of the church that we know that he has gone to prepare a place for us in his father's house and many rooms. That's why we know that when that trumpet sounds, when we hear that sound, the loudest sound that the human ear has ever heard, we know that there is a place that has been prepared and waiting for us in his father's house. I'm gonna read from uh, the book of John, chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled and a lot of our hearts today amen are troubled let not your heart be troubled you believe in god believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have told you i go to prepare a place for you this is before he ascends up in a cloud unto the father and if i go and prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. Not that he is going to ascend unto the Father and just tell the disciples that I'm going to prepare a room for you, my, my Father's house. There are many mansions, many rooms, but really just mean he's going to come back for the second coming. He's not going to really bring us up there. He was just maybe telling a fib. Jesus doesn't lie. Jesus is the voice of truth. It's not that he is going to ascend unto the Father and just return at the second coming and we're going to all go through tribulation and then we're going to have the millennial reign and New Jerusalem come down. He said he is going to prepare a place for us to stay and to rest with him. And whether I go ye know, and the way you go. Let me read it one more time. Let not your heart be troubled in this new year. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Harpazo, come and receive us in a cloud. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds to meet Yeshua in the air, and we forever shall be with him. Comfort one another with these words from the book of John, King James Version Bible. I love you guys. I want you to be prepared this evening. We are going to be on YouTube live stream, so stay kind of close to my channel between the 7 o'clock and 7.30 hour, and have your bread and your juice ready, and we are going to have communion, YouTube live stream tonight. We're going to hold a communion service, and it is church, so be sure to join us tonight. And that's between 7 o'clock and 7.30. We're going to try to ring in the new year. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not used to sitting up that late. And uh, we have nothing special going on at home. Don't go out.
please don't venture out. That's why I want to do this live stream, to keep you in. And we can just uh, praise God together and praise Yeshua together. I love you guys. Ministry announcements, no announcements today. Uh, nothing has come in for our ministry to the homeless. I love you guys. Love one another. I'll put the links below to how you can support God's ministry and outreach to the homeless. The urban outreach to those in need. The hurting. The invisible people of the street. God sees them and he sees us and he knows what we are all doing to glorify his kingdom and to bring him glory. I love you guys. I'll be back.